In this video, we'll look at how to get MongoDB installed and running on your machine. So the first thing that you want to do is go over to mongodb.org and click this download MongoDB link. So if we scroll down here, you can choose whichever version of MongoDB suits your system. We have Windows, Linux, Mac. So go ahead and download and install whichever one works for you. If you get an error at any point, the most common reason is because you need to add a DB folder. And I'll let you know that on Windows, the DB folder is installed under the root C drive. So you have C drive and then you have data. And then if there doesn't exist a data or DB folder, go ahead and create those. And if we look inside the DB folder, this will hold all of our local databases. So once you have MongoDB installed, in order to get it running, you have to navigate over to the path where it was installed. So for me, I'm going to navigate over into my program files then MongoDB, you can see I have an older edition installed as well, but this is MongoDB 3.2 and then the server and then 3.2. Now you want to go into this bin folder here. So if I open that up, this is where my executables are installed. So in order to run MongoDB, we navigate into this bin folder. So I'll copy over the path. Now I'm going to open up my terminal window. I'm going to navigate over to the path. So now I'm in this bin folder. Now in order to start MongoDB, I type the command MongoD. So that's M-O-N-G-O-D. So once you get some messages in the command, saying that waiting for connections on port 27017 that lets you know that MongoDB has been connected. So whenever we're doing any kind of work within our application, MongoD has to be running. So we have to fire this up before we start our server. Now with MongoD running, we can access our shell. So I'm going to open up another terminal window and we can only access our shell when MongoD is running. So now I can type the command Mongo, M-O-N-G-O. And now I'm connected to the shell. So this should actually say 3.2 for you. For some reason, it's still accessing my older MongoDB version. In order to see all the databases that I have installed, I can type the command show dbs we get a list of all the databases that i have installed locally so if you type the command show dbs you should actually get nothing back if you don't have any dbs already installed so if you just installed mongodb for the first time then this should return nothing for you okay so remember when we get into our project we don't need to have Mongo open, but we do need to have MongoD running. Okay, in the next video, we'll get into using NPM and Bower.